coming to you live from the MVG Production Studios on YouTube. It's everyone's favorite game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. This is Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's your host, the star of Tic Tac Toe, the master of the X's and O's, Brandon Scruff. Welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Joe right here at MVP Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. On our last show, we saw a new champion crown and unfortunately had no luck against the dragon. We're we'll to see if he can do any better today, so let's meet our contestants. Starting with our current champion on the show, who's two game cash winnings total $2,300. We have Mr. Al Alan Burns. Alan, welcome in. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> Unfortunately, no luck against Fluffy so far for you. What else is new, though? <laughs> this is true. This this is very similar to what you did in Season 1 of the show. Are you ready to jump back in and see if you can do any better this time, Ron? Uh, can only hope. Can only hope. All right. Well, good luck to you once again. And Thank let's you. meet your first opponent up for today on Tic Tac Joe. Uh, comes to us from... Down Southway, but the great state of Louisiana, we have Mr. Jason Myers. Jason, welcome in. Love that. First time here on Tic Tac Toe here on the series. Tell the good folks at home a little bit about yourself, sir. Well, I'm from a small town located five minutes east of New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I'm a part-time grocery slash meat department associate. I'm trying to move into management real soon, hopefully. Um, when I'm not working, I enjoy playing video games, I enjoy watching game shows, and I'm an on-again, off-again voice actor. Oh, fantastic. Uh, what, what are some of the good voices you can do? Uh, Filbert and Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, uh, let me have a little bit of Filbert, if you don't mind. Oh... The trouble with reading comic books is that the ink comes off on your hands. Every time you turn the page, you have to wash your hands. You turn the page, you wash your hands. You turn the page, you wash your hands. And then you turn the page, and then you wash your hands. It's, it's very interesting. And um, I'm constantly in the state of wanting to throw up. Mm, that is nearly spot on, sir. Well done. I was proud of that. I said. If you ever manage to get into like major films and stuff, I think you've got a voice acting career definitely ahead of you, sir. But that's yeah, in the future. You. How about you play some Tic Tac Toe right now and see if you earn yourself some cash here? You ready to play? Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's do it, guys. You guys know how the game works, but for those who don't know, we got some categories on the board. They're going to answer a question. Get the question right, they get to put an extra on the board. First player to get tic tac toe either across, up and down, or diagonally on the board wins the game, gets all the cash of the pot, and we'll move on to the bonus round. Of course, the outer boxes are worth two hundred dollars a piece. The center box is a little bit harder. It's a two part question worth it's worth three hundred dollars. Okay, let's take a look at the nine subjects you'll be using in this first game of tic tac toe, and they are the following. <laughs> All right, we have history, dirty minds, auction, opponent's choice, spelling bee, art and literature, secret category, on the map, and potluck. Of course, the red categories are our special categories here. Uh, the auction category is I'm going to give you a I'm going to give you a category that has ten answers listed on it. You're going to bid back and forth between the two of how many of the, those ten answers you think you can give to me that are made our list. And if you make your bid. And give me the correct number of answers, you get the box. If you don't, your opponent has all they have to do is give me one answer that you did not get on the list, and they get to steal it from you. Um, the opponent's choice category, of course, uh, I will give your I will give your opponent two subjects to pick from, and they will get to pick the category for you for that run. And of course, the secret category is can be about anything. Get that one right. We double all the cash in the pot. Now, one other category I need to mention here is our Dirty Minds category. You've seen this on the show a couple times. I'm going to read you three clues about a person, place, or thing. Most of them, in case, are things. Um, the clues are going to sound very dirty, but the answers I'm looking for are clean. So give me a legit answer. Don't give me what comes to mind, and it will help you a lot when we get the boxes on the board. 
All right. With that said, those are your categories. And Alan, as the champion, you have the right to go first. Which category would you like? Oh. Hmm. You know, I did win a spelling bee once. <laughs> as long as we're not spelling ecclesiastic, I think I'll be okay. I'll take spelling bee. All right, going spelling bee in the center box. It's a two. It's a two-part question. So again, for three hundred dollars, you're gonna get some extra time on this one. I'm gonna give you two words, and those are the two words that you're gonna have to spell. All right. God, I hope we're not crazy. All right. Your two words that you're gonna have to spell for me are leisure and criticize. Leisure and criticize. I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. All right, Alan, we're going to do it spelling bee style. You're going to say the word, spell it out, and then say the word and a lock in your answer, okay? okay. Leisure, leisure and criticize are your two words. Which one do you want to start with? And leisure first. Okay, leisure. Leisure. L-E-I-S-U-R-E. -E, leisure. That's correct. And now for the center box, spell criticize. Criticize. C R I T. I C I Z E. Criticize. That is correct. You got them both. Well done. Put it next to the board. I'm not. You're not as rushy as you thought you were. Nicely done. Three hundred dollars in the pot. There. Let's shuffle the categories. And Jason, your first time up. Uh. Hmm. Just to, just to say I tried Dirty Minds. Dirty Minds, he's going for it. Bravo, sir, by the way. Just just bravo on a personal one. <laughs> Alright, Dirty Minds category. Again, I'll read you three clues about an item. All you have to do is tell me what the person, place, or thing that I'm looking for is. If you're right, you get the box. Alright? Here okay. is your Dirty here is your Dirty Minds clues. First one is this. So I get to the ones I haven't used yet. All right. All right, uh, Jason, the first clue is this. When you put me back in your pants, I get wrinkled. That's the first one. Second one, I'm six inches long. The 30, third one is... General Grant sits on my face. Again, when I when you put me back in your pants, I get wrinkled. I'm six inches long, and General Grant sits on my face. With a box, what is it? Uh, money. More specific. Um, let's see. Uh, the. Uh, a dollar bill? No, I'm sorry. <sighs> Incorrect. The, it was the, a fifty dollar bill. Yes, it's a fifty dollar bill uh, is what we're looking for. General Grant is on the I face. Think that Grant was on that. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. I can't give you that one. All right, good try though, there. So we still leave three hundred dollars in the pot. We'll shuffle the categories again. Better than the other eight thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I can only imagine. Um, Alan, go ahead. Um, I think I'll try it on the map, please. All right, going on the map here, left side of the board. Here comes your on the map question. All right, Alan, in which country is the most northern city in the world? Again, which country is the most northern city in the world? Is it A, Russia, B, Norway, C, Iceland, or D, Canada? One of them stuck out, I going to say Iceland? No, I'm sorry. It's not Damn Iceland. It. It's actually the city's Hammerfest, and it's located in Norway. I, Hammerfest, I knew Norway. it was one of the two. Yeah, good try there. No box there. <laughs> so, it's all right. $300 remains in the pot as we shuffle. And we're over to you, Jason. Let's go with on the map. Now you like some on the map. All right, let's see how you do with your on the map category. Jason, I need to know, what's the capital of Guatemala? Is it A, Guatemala City, B, Mangala, C, Tecacipia, or D, Antigua? 
Guatemala City. Guatemala City is correct. You got it. Well done. Put it on the board. Just like that, $500 in the pot as we shuffle the categories again. Oh, kind of wish I had that one. <laughs> All right, Alan, back to you. Let's try spelling bee again. He likes the spelling bee, so we'll give him another spelling word here. Uh, your spelling bee word this time is barometer or barometer, depending on where you come from. Barometer or barometer? All right, barometer. B E R O M E T E R barometer. No, I'm sorry, that's yes. incorrect. Uh, I'm rusty on that one. Uh, <laughs> it was B A R O M E T E R. You said E. You said B E R. Uh, the uh, game, so I can't give you that one. Five hundred dollars remains in the pot as we shuffle the categories again. And Jason, over to you. I see. <laughs> uh, dirty minds. He wants to try dirty minds again. All right. Let's see if you do a little better with this one here. Jason, here's yeah. your clues under dirty mind. Two people grab my joint. You're wishing for my big piece, and I'm a double boner. Again, two people grab my joint. You're wishing for my big piece, and I'm a hey, double yours. boner. For the box, what is it? A wishbone. A wishbone is correct. You got it. Very good. <laughs> I knew that. Nice job. I wow. <laughs> and again, all y'all need to take your minds and take a sponge and some soap to air all every single one of them. All right, uh, seven hundred dollars in the pot. Now let's shuffle the categories again. Alan, we're back to you. Gun, be fine. <laughs> oh, good. A category I don't like at all. I'll take art and literature. All right, for the block on this one, under art and literature, you need it to stay alive in this one. All wow. right, Alan, who wrote the uh, famous play Les Miserables? Again, who wrote the famous play Les Miserables? Is it A, Alexander Dumas, B, Jean Valjean, C, Gustave Flaubert, or D, Victor Hugo? Victor Hugo. Victor Hugo is correct for the block. Nicely done. There we go, $900 in the pot as we shuffle the categories. My sister was a musical freak. She'd kill me. Good job. You did your sister proud. Jason, over to you. On the map for the block. All right, get on the map, map for your block here this time. Here comes your on the map question. All right, Jason, for the block, what is considered to be the northernmost country of Europe? Again, what is considered to be the northernmost country of Europe? Is it A, Norway, B, Poland, C, Finland, or D, Sweden? Uh, I want to say the northernmost would be Norway. No, I'm sorry. It's not Norway. It's actually Finland. Finland's the most northern country of Europe there. So I can't give you the box. How much Ludwig Borga? Right, $900 in the pot. We shuffle the categories. A break for Alan here. Oh, boy. <laughs> let's let's have some potluck, please. Potluck. Get this question correct under potluck. It's tic-tac-toe, $1,100. You get another shot, the Fluffy, in the bonus round. Here it comes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Alan, what chess-playing computer won a six-game match against world champion Garrett K Kasparov in 1997? <sighs> Again, what chess-playing computer won a six-game match against world champion Gary Kasparov in 1997? Is it A, Deep Purple, B, Deep Violet, C, Deep Chess, or D, Deep Blue? Oh, my God. I've heard about this, and I don't remember the name. Deep Blue. Deep Blue is correct for Tic-Tac-Toe! <laughs> Deep blue. <laughs> Nicely done again, sir. Well played. That's another eleven $1 hundred dollars for you. Brings your total now up to three thousand four hundred dollars, and you're going on to play the bonus round again in just a minute. Well, Jason, you played a good game there, sir. Unfortunately, he just ran up, uh, got some better luck with the questions there. But did you have a good time with us today. Yes, I did. Now I need a good study it. <laughs> That's all right. Well, hopefully we'll have you back. We'll have you back on a future episode. Maybe you can do some more impressions for us then. 
Indeed, indeed. Oh, I tell you, I get no respect around here. I tell you. <laughs> I uh, congratulations. Give it up for Jason one time there. And Alan, three thousand four hundred dollars in your bank, yeah. sir. Would, would you like to see if you can win yourself some more money in our bonus round? Yeah, that one. All right, let's do it. Come on over. Let's see if you can beat that dragon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well done, sir. Alan, that is uh, your first chance here to play against the dragon here today in our bonus round. Of course, you know, nine numbers up on the board. We got cash amounts, we got a tick, we got attack, and of course, we got that thing in the middle. We call him Fluffy. Your objective is to get to $1,000 or find the tick of the tech before you find Fluffy. If you do, you'll be considered a winner. What do you want, Fluffy? Okay, fine. He's not going to say anything. Good. Just stay that way. It helped me out. All right. All you got to do, Alan, is get to a... Th if you get to $1,000 before you find Fluffy, you win the cash in the pot times the number of uncovered boxes on the board. If you find the tick and the tack, however, on any of your two picks, you win the tick tack jackpot, which currently oh, stands boy. at $12,000. Now, of course, if you find tick and tack on your first two picks, we'll double that to $24,000, and you'll have a chance to play our super bonus game, all right? All right. All right, so best of luck to you. We're going to go ahead and shuffle the board and move the numbers around. Oh, fuck, he's going to go hide somewhere and stay there. All right, and when you are ready, sir, you can get some help from the audience if you like, or you can pick it on your own, but all right, start picking it. Good luck to you. Oh, God help me here. Um... <laughs> I might regret picking this number, but number three. <laughs> number three in the upper right-hand corner. Hopefully, we do not see a dragon up there. Three, what do we have? What was my brand? $100. Oh, no. uh, yes, okay, right. woo! Better than nothing. You're on the board. All right, you can take $100 uh, and stop, or you can risk it and go on. What do you want to do? You know, for, for once, I really want that dragon to be on the bottom row, so I pick the top two rows and not get it. Um, <laughs> I will keep going, because $100 ain't going to get me nowhere. <laughs> um, I will try number... Oh, dear. I will try number five. <laughs> okay. Number five, center box. Let's see. Hopefully, find some good money. I'm alive. Five. Please be blue. It's a tech. There you go. Find me a tick, I get you twelve thousand dollars. Find a tick. Find a tick. Oh dear. Oh man. Um. Yeah. Shoot. Where is a tick, man? Where is a tick? Brandon, I'm gonna try number one. Number I'm hoping. One, number one, top of the charts. Looking for a tick for twelve thousand dollars. Behind one, Please. what do we have? Anything blue. 250. Okay. All right. Okay. You're up to 350 now. You need uh, 650 or a tick. What do you want to do? Number two. Going on. Playing on. Number two. Looking for the tick for 12,002. Blue. 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 Tick. Ah! Tick. Ah! Tick. Tick. Money. Damn, I, give up. I seriously give up. <laughs> this dragon, I, I swear. I'm going to start, start starting at the bottom row or something because it's never on the bottom row. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Fluffy... Cut. I got a feeling... What, what? Well, I would have went to eight after two anyway, so I wonder what's there. Well, let's see. What, what Had he gotten eight, would he have won it with eight? No. no. That was fine. <laughs> wouldn't have been enough. Let's see what the tech was. Of course, That's right next... Six was what you needed. Five and six was the winning combo this time. Well, Alan, unfortunately, still no jackpot for you this time. We're going to add another $1,000 to it, make it worth 13000 next time. But you're, you're up to a healthy total. You got $3,400. And we're going to go ahead and pause for the cause and take a quick break. And when we we'll come back, we got another opponent for you. And we have more Tic Tac Joe on the way right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. Alan, again, that dragon is just a freaking thorn in your side. Fluffy, yeah, stop winning! It's my money! I don't think I'll ever win a game. 
Fluffy just made the list. That's oh no, I'm Fluffy's making Fluffy's making my sponsors happy because they don't have to spend nearly as much this year. But nonetheless, Alan's got thirty four hundred dollars, and he's gonna try to his luck again to get back to the jackpot. We add another thousand dollars to it. It's worth thirteen thousand if he can get there. But he has to get through his next opponent, a man we've seen on Tic Tac Toe before and done really well. Let's welcome him back here. First time in season three, we have Mr. Eric Lima. Eric, welcome in. Hello, world. What's going on? Good to have you back with us, Eric. Uh, I saw Eric yeah. last season go pretty deep in our tournament. Uh, actually, he played well during our season two, but never had a tournament of champions last year just due to some technical difficulties and things going on. But we're glad to have you here as part of season three, Eric. Can you tell the good folks at home a little bit about yourself? My name is Eric Lima. I hail from New Bedford, Massachusetts, to south of Boston. I am a New England sports fan. Yeah. I am I am a WWE fan, wrestling fan. I am also a retro video game fan as well. Fantastic. Well, glad to have you aboard here, and good luck to you here on this episode of Tic Tac Toe. We Thank you very much. We have a WWE category in the rotation somewhere, but it has not come up yet when I've Boys, then maybe this is the game it'll do it here. Let's take a look at the nine subjects we will be using in this game of Tic-Tac-Toe, and they are the following. This time we're dealing with the secret category, Rock On, the Top Ten, Sports, Science, Thousand Dollar Question, Potluck, Entertainment, and The Spelling Bee. Of course, as you know, the red category is the secret category. Get, and put, get all the questions. Get the question correct. I cannot speak today. <laughs> you will double the cash of the pot. The top ten is another one of our list categories. I will give you a subject, and then you'll give me an answer. You, you'll each give me an answer you think that makes the list. Whoever gives me the higher answer on that list will get the box there. And, of course, the $1,000 question. Give, I'll ask you a question. Get that one right. We add $1,000 to the pot. All right? So a lot of cash can be earned in this game if you combo the categories read correctly and maybe we'll see what happens here get things started off as always the champion goes first alan that's you go ahead and pick a subject uh, let's see well what somewhat well last time was for spelling bee he likes the spelling words all right spelling words in the lower left hand corner here comes your qu here comes your word sir i am all right the word i'm looking for is perceived perceived Perceived. P E R C I E V E D. Perceived. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Uh, I before e yeah, you forgot the perceived. I before E rule there. It's no. actually perceived. It's P E R C E I V E D. Yeah, the C you showed up, so that switches the letters around. But that's okay. No harm, no foul. What happens when I spell too fast? <laughs> no harm, no foul there, sir. We'll go ahead and shuffle the categories up. We'll give Eric a try to get on the board. Eric, pick a subject. Um, Let's try sports upper left, please. Sports in the upper left-hand corner. Here comes a sports question headed your way, sir. Under the category of sports, Eric, here's your question. At the French Open, how often are the balls changed in every set? Uh, correction, um, I wrote read that wrong. At the French Open, how often are the tennis balls actually changed? Is it every nine games, every six games, or when they're totaled? Hmm, I want to guess every six games. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, well, I fault too. It's actually every nine games, every nine games, the um, balls are changed out there. So, no harm, no foul there. Nobody on the board yet. We'll shuffle the categories again. And we'll give it back to Alan. That's what I'm trying to know about tennis. All right. Um, let's try... Let's try to redeem myself. Spelling bee again. One more time with the spelling bee here. All right. All right, Alan, your word this time for the spelling bee is annoyance. As in you not being able to spell these words must be a real annoyance to you. <laughs> annoyance. A-N-N-O-Y-A-N-C-E. 
O Y A N C E annoyance. That is correct. You got it. Well done. You're on the board. Lord. There we go. Two hundred dollars at the pot. Now we shuffle the categories again. Eric, we're back to you. Let's try entertainment in the center box. Please. All right, entertainment in the center box. A two-part question under entertainment. You'll need. Some, you'll get some extra time to think about it. Mm -hmm. Here's your two questions under entertainment. All right, here, first one is this, Eric. In the 1976 version of King Kong, King Kong climbs which edifice? Is it A, the Chrysler Building, B, the Statue of Liberty, C, the World Trade Center, or D, the Empire State Building? That's in the 76 version of King Kong. That's the first one. The second one is, who created the TV series Alias? Who created the TV series Alias? Is it A, Ron Rifkin, B, Robert Cochran, or C, J.J. Abrams? Those are your two questions. Here's your extra time to think about them. All right, which one do you want to answer first? Let me try the second one. All right, second one. Who created the TV series Alias? Is it A, Robin Rifkin, B, Robert Cochran, or C, J.J. Abrams? I believe that would be J.J. Abrams. That is correct. And for the center box now, in the 1976 version of King Kong, King Kong climbs which edifice? Is it A, the Chrysler Building, B, the Statue of Liberty, C, the World Trade Center, or D, the Empire State Building? Uh, I said this was a tricky one because I'm torn between two of them. And now I'm going to try to guess the Statue of Liberty. No, I'm sorry. It's not the Statue of Liberty. It actually climbs the original World Trade Center. Is what it climbs. Oh, that wow. Yes, it was. Between that one, it was, to me, it was between the Liberty and the Empire State Building. I know the popular thing would be the Empire State Building. I didn't know it was the World Trade Center. Yeah, wow. you climbed the World Trade Center in that version of it there. So, sorry, no box for you. We still have $200 in the pot, and we'll shuffle the categories once again. <laughs> Alan, back to you. <sighs> Tell me a word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another word for the spelling bee. All right. Let's see how you do with this one. Um, your spelling bee word this time is optimistic. Optimistic, as in you are hopefully optimistic that you will spell this word correctly. All right. Optimistic. I think I got this. O P T I M I S. P I C optimistic. And that is the correct answer. You got it. Well done. <laughs> All right, I'm on Another the X on the board. All right, four hundred dollars in the pot as we shuffle the categories. Eric, you got your work cut out for you here. Yeah, I do. Well, let's see if I can try it with sports for the block, please. All right, sports for the block. Sports question. Get it right. You'll have a vertical block of Allen. All right, Eric for the block. What is the first Grand Slam tennis event of the year? Is it you, the U.S. Open, Wimbledon, uh, the French Open, or the Australian Open? Again, what is the first Grand Slam tennis event of the year? My guess would be the U.S. Open. No, I'm sorry. It's not the U.S. Open. It's that, that's actually the last of the uh, Grand Slam event of the year. The first one is actually the Australian Open. It's held in January uh. every year. That's how much you know, that's how much I know about tennis. I hate this. All right, no, <laughs> no box there. Still four hundred dollars in the pot. We shuffle. Wait, and uh, I'm afraid to take that category would be a tennis question. Yeah. All right, and Alan. Well, I don't know too much about it, the industry of it, but we'll try entertainment. All right, entertainment. Get this question correct in our entertainment. It is tic tac toe for you. Six hundred dollars, and you get another shot to take down Fluffy in the bonus round. Here comes your entertainment question. What famous rocker is nicknamed The Boss? And what famous rocker's nickname is The Boss? Is it A, Bob Dylan, B, Elvis Presley, C, Bruce Springsteen, or D, Chuck Berry? Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen is correct. You got it for Tic Tac Doe. That one, I knew. And he does it again, ladies and gentlemen. Alan, well done. Another $600 for you. Brings your total up to an even $4,000. And you get a chance to take on Fluffy again in just a minute. 
Well, Eric, did you have a good time with us, sir? Yes. Yeah, unfortunate question. Just didn't I quite. Mean, uh huh. Say that again. Yes. Well, that's, oh, that's okay, sir. Well, hopefully you enjoyed yeah. us, your time here on the show. We got some nice parting gifts for you, of course, and always. If you want another chance, we'll get you back here on here later this season, okay? All right, Alan, you've got yourself $4,000. Let's go see if you can pick up some more and finally take down that dragon in the bonus round. Come on over. All right. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you're back. It's just two. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Don't save the dragon is don't pick it. Yeah. All right. Alan, another oh, chance yeah. for you. Another chance for you to play our bonus round here, sir. Again, we add another thousand dollars to the jackpot. Add your jackpot now up to thirteen thousand dollars if you can find tick and tack. Find them on your first two picks. We double it to twenty six thousand dollars. Okay. So best of luck to you. We're going to shuffle the board. Fluffy, again, go hide oh. and stay hidden this time. Please, for the love of all things holy and unholy. I'm not making any promises. I swear. this one. Why did I, of, all, of all the dragons in the world, why did I get stuck with this one? I'm kind of scared to pick a number. <laughs> well, you get some help from the audience. I mean, that, that's the beautiful part here. You can get some help on this one if you want. If you have any idea, audience, throw some numbers out at them. Yeah, throw a number. Nine. Um, I'm staying away from that, bro. I'll take number three, please. Number three, start in the top right hand corner. Three, what do please we have? Please be blue. Please be blue. And it's okay. $150. All right. You, you got 150 you need 850 more or tick attack. What do you want to do? I hope that asshole moved. I'll take number two. Number two. You are aware that my dragon is notoriously lazy and does not like to move around the yeah, board I know he, much. He is a lazy bastard, I know. Let's see. Hopefully there's no dragon there. Two, what do we have? Check. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, I tried. I tried to tell you, but the uh, wow, Fl <laughs> Fluffy rules the day. Fluffy rules the day. That's the hashtag for this episode, to say the least. All right, now another jackpot. Unfortunately, gets unclaimed there, and Fluffy holds on to even more money. Just why, Fluffy? I just ask why. Uh, nonetheless, all right. Uh, eight box, uh, seven boxes still up there. Let's see where everything was. The tick, the tack, and the rest of the cash. <laughs> tack was behind I one. Tick was behind number nine there is what you needed there. All right. Well, unfortunately, He's Alan. Eventually. Well, eventually, at some point in time, he, you will get a chance to beat him. But today, unfortunately, is not going to be that day. Good, but you are still our champion there. You still got a chance. Next time. <laughs> You'll still got a chance for four thousand. You still have four thousand dollars to your credit. But we'll give we'll have another thousand dollars to the jackpot for next time. Bring it up to fourteen thousand dollars. And we're gonna pause the pause and take one last more break. When we come back, we'll be our. Welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. Just about out of time for today, but before we go, we got time for one quick audience game. Again, find my pet dragon. You're going to get $5,000 added to your MVG bank accounts there. Since there's only three people in our audience, including our reigning champion, I'm going to give everybody two picks. So we're going to give away something on this show. Dang it, Fluffy. Now, don't go hiding from us now. We want to see your face. It's my money. I hide where I want. Swear, this dragon. You sound like Cookie Monster. All right, Alan, you're a champion as always. You get the first pick, sir. You know this is depressing. Uh, I don't think I've ever felt so depressed in my life. Um, <laughs> so, over four. God. Now when I want to find it, I won't find it. Number eight. I'm right. Fluffy. I swear it's gotta be on that bottom row eventually. Fluffy, did you move back to your cave finally? Number eight. 
Oh, there's 250 bucks. Oh. Not there. All right. I um, my cave, I told you. Eric, over to you. I got to feel that knucklehead is behind number nine again. Number nine. Let's see. Fluffy, is he down at number nine? Yay! Yeah, I found him. Of course, this time it's on the bottom row. There it is. I don't know if I was going to do that next time. Why couldn't this have been my bonus game? I can't believe I found the dragon. That was wonderful. Well done, sir. Congratulations to you. That's going to get you $5,000 to you. So we'll go ahead and credit yes. credit you for that. And uh, uh, let's see. Next time I'm going back up top. <laughs> I see the rest of the board there. There's the two. Yeah. The... See, two, three would have been a perfect time for it now, Alan. That would have got you double money this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, it won't, it won't be the case this time around, but uh, I'll, I'll be damned. Alright, well, again, thanks to all my players. Thanks to everyone watching out uh, YouTube land. Appreciate your continued support here on the channel. Remember, if you like the series and you want to see more, all you gotta do is click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until this dragon learns to finally give away some money and quit trying to protect every last golden coin. I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on another edition of Tic Tac Doe. Take Some of our party contestants will receive the Choice Soy Sauce, America's favorite for basting chicken, marinated steak, seasoning hamburgers, and all meats delicious soy sauce from the Joy. Canada Dry, a name that means professional with a special sparkle flavor for every taste. Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Dolphins and Friends Bite Side Cracker. If they have the cheddar cheese taste as big as the ocean for a wholesome snack anytime, try Dolphins and Friends Bite Side Cheddar Cheese Crackers. Ragnar's Pizza Quick Kit. Everything you need for a pizzeria good pizza at home. Open up Ragnar's Pizza Quick Kit and open your own pizzeria. 20 Mule Team Borax, a natural for cleaning and freshening all the family wash. 20 Mule Team Borax. 140 square feet of flint coat peel and stick floor tile. Easy to apply because the adhesive's on the back. Flint coat, peel, and stick floor tile for available in distinctive decorator styles. And one lucky member of our studio eyes will receive a gift certificate from Hammaker and Slimmer. Shop our catalog or redeem at our store in New York City or online at hammakerandslimmer.com. Furnished by Hammaker and Slimmer. is Michael Gentry speaking for Tic Tac Duck. A Barian Enright production in association with MVG Productions.